That's what you actually are. And if some being within universe or without universe had a larger view, they could actually view you in this perspective where you are just a... Uh, you know, the big toe, so to speak, in this larger, larger, grander being. And that's really what we are. Now, uh, real quick to step through some other things, because we've got to get to the matrix that shows how, how all this stuff works. These 12 subsections that are the doer, you are one of them. Uh, the other 11 also get born. We are born in series. So there's 12 of us, uh, all told. And we're, half of them are male and half of them are female. So if you're here now, then whatever uh, you are uh, gender-wise, so if you're a female now in this body here, then, then that subset of you that is uniquely identified, all right, let me back up a second here real quick. Even though we feed into the grander being of the doer, each of these 12 subunits can be thought of as having a unique ID, okay? A feeling that is slightly subtly different than than the doer in the body in one of the other 11. So uh, so there will be a, a commonality feeling and then a, a, an expression around that commonality that is unique. So I'll graphically show that real quick uh, right here. And so here is our doer in the body in a larger sense. It has It has within it uh, the grander self, if you will, that we all feel within the body our, uh, every morning, you know, constantly. That's the self within us. However, that self can be thought of as having 12 different subset unique IDs that are a feeling that is a feeling that is slightly different than the one next to it or the one behind it. And so, in, in that sense, it's more like having, um, uh, in a computer sense, because we're making these things after our own image, it's like having a slot, uh, having 12 expansion slots, and you put in 12 different video cards, each one going to a different video camera. And they all were focused at the same thing, even if they were just sitting right next to each other, the view would be ever so slightly subtly different, and would project a slightly different feeling into the larger video itself even though they're all clustered together, all focused at the same thing, and all those video cameras feed into the expansion slots. And all the expansion slots feel the same in terms of what they're showing to the computer. In the grander sense, the view would be a series that would be like this, where each one of them would be ever so slightly off in some way as to provide an extra different little bit of a perspective. And so we're quite grand beings. And, and this is where our responsibility is as, as persons, as individual expressions, as one of the twelve, as being one of the twelve that form the grander triune being, as being one of the doers in the body. And you don't know how privileged that is, by the way. If you fuck it up, I mean, if you waste this life, you have no idea, because you're mostly really ignorant about these things, as to what you're actually wasting. And, uh, and the horror that you're going to, to bring to yourself in, in future incarnations. Because the universe don't let up on you. Just because you're going to abandon it this life doesn't mean you have to deal with it. You're not going to have to deal with it the next time. So let's get into some more of the mechanics here real quick. So here you are, and you're a female, in this body, feeding into the grander thing this time, right? Well, you as female are also might be this right doer right here. Well, here's how it kind of works. Six of these of these beings are, are going to always incarnate as female. Six will always incarnate as male. So I will always, the, the unique ID down here that let's just call this Cliff uh, Prime Male, and we'll call it uh, uh, D, uh, D-Y, and I'll explain why in a second, uh, D-Y Prime. Okay, so Cliff Prime Male, D-Y Prime, that's my unique ID. We're just making these numbers, these these coordinates up, so don't take them to heart. But that's my unique ID, okay? Whenever I am born, I will always feel the same way, and I'm always going to be born male. I'll never, never, ever experience a female body as that unique ID that is me currently right now. I will, however, experience what it is like to be female, because half of my doers, half of my doer unique IDs are female. And so every time I incarnate as the larger doer in a female a uh, subset into a female body, intuition and stuff comes on in, that comes on back, that feeds into me, even though the next time that this this unique ID incarnates as a, it'll incarnate as a male. Boy, I sure as hell hope that's, that's not too, uh, too complex. So basically, if you're female now, you'll always be born female, 
okay? Even though uh, there's uh, six parts of the of your doer that are could be that are also you in a very meaningful sense. That are also you with the and shares uh, shares this part right here and this part right here. Uh, they'll always be uh, female, and then there's the parts that are going to always be male. And combined, we we form the doer in the body, twelve group of twelve. What's known as the minor arcana. And that's why we have minor arcana and tarot cards, yes, and other things. Uh, but uh, of the of the uh, major third uh, thirds. Okay, so uh, we get born in series. Okay, and this is important. That is to say, we're not all in existence. Uh, uh, let's, let me take it personally now. In that sense, uh, there's eleven other parts of me that are um, currently alive but not within universe. Those other 11 parts are up here in the grander doer that, and they're being fed some level of information processing from all these tendrils that are going on up from my, uh, the nadi that are throughout my body that form into chakras and send this information up. Uh, and so they're getting and processing that level of information uh, at some level while they're in, in a incarnate state that we won't go into at the moment, okay? But they're not within universe, and even though they're part of me. And they and I am them, they are me, and it gets really confusing. But nonetheless, I am I'm the only single representative of of this grander triune being here in universe at this time. Uh, within this these circumstances. So now I'll die here in a short while. And then when I'm reborn the next part of me that will reborn. Okay, so let's let's jump back up to our hypothetical female here that we were dealing with. She's here now. She's going to die here. Let's say she dies ten years on. Okay, so she lives over the next ten years. She's uh, seventy now. She's going to die when she's eighty, and um, uh, she got, has ten more years here. And when she dies, the the being right here ceases to exist in universe. At some point in the future, the next one of the uh, uh, subsets to incarnate, uh, which will be male, uh, will be uh, born into universe. And it won't happen right away necessarily. Sometimes there's rules about this as to why it does, what the timing is. Frequently, the spacing is quite large because of a, a lot, basically, because you've got to burn out all of the crud you're through and then get clean before you can have that next incarnation to absorb stuff again. So it's kind of like you've got to purge your hard drive. We're using computer metaphors. So here's how it looks this way. Uh, so these are the females uh, in terms of the, the, the birthing order here. Um, female, 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 uh, male, male, male. And this was just one of the orders that I was, that I'd become aware of. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we have five or six and then we have male. Okay, so here's here's the thing, the they we alternate in terms of how we get born through this series. So the females will every time a female gets born, the there will always be a next incarnation as a male in between. But all of the female incarnations are connected, forming the females uh, group of six into one half of the doer. So we're building as we're going on up. Thus the three, the six component of this insofar as the masons, oops, sorry about that guys, up there too high, thus the three and the six, and the six component of this insofar as the masons are concerned, and Tesla for that matter, he recognized the understanding of the three, the six, and the nine. Okay, so all the females end up getting, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, what's wrong there? Female, 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 male. Male, female, male, female, male, female. Okay, and so um, female, and then female, and so, and because it's interwoven, it replicates the um, like the double helix and everything. It also rep replicates other components of the vortices that that we're involved with within the universe here, including ourselves as these two intertwining uh, sets of near magnetic wave kind of things. This level of duality that that then joins and becomes the third. Okay, so we're back into the third. I'm getting rid of this part right down here. All right, uh, getting rid of that. So we see that we're, we're born in series. There can be a time delay. There will be a time delay between the births of all of those. It forms two halves that are interlaced. 
uh, there, and you'll see some of this stuff replicated later on in this, the rest of this quick little talk here, which ain't all that quick. But it's complicated. Okay, so we're going to get through all of this. <coughs> so, our person here, who's a female, she gets, um, uh, she dies 10 years on, uh, in, and that's uh, um, 2026. Okay, now, let's say, uh, uh, let's just look at it real quick, and we'll just some, apply some numbers that for this particular hypothetical case may be factual, but no one else's numbers necessarily have this, this kind of spread. But our hypothetical female here, uh, when she next incarnates, when that being next incarnates, it'll come in as a male. So that was our female, and that was her uh, date of death, okay? Uh, now, um, when, when, it next, when she next incarnates, as a female might be a considerable spread because what will happen is this there will be a period of time of absorption of all of the stuff that this individual had in life and then the next male in that series will be born and so maybe that might be 2042 we'll just pick a numbers here right doesn't necessarily mean anything so that's a date of birth this male uh, say that this male is born in a slightly more enlightened period of time and he lives a hundred years so he'll die at 2142, and that's his date of death. And then there's a period of time here that is gone before the incarnation. In these periods of time, you're in what is known as your metempsychoses, the period of time between lives. Within there, you will experience what we call hell, only there's plurals, there's two of them, and you'll also experience heaven, and you'll, oops, and you'll also experience uh, what the, um, uh, are known in other uh, cultures, uh, but rarely discussed in uh, Western cultures, and that's what we can call here as the deep rest. Okay, this is critical because it's after you've gone through this stuff to experience the good and the bad, it's kind of like you experience the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then you just need a big sleep, and then you sleep it off for a while, and the deep rest is, all of that is built into these sections right here between lines. Now, get this. The, the, and here's something that sort of makes sense. The more energy you have in a life, the more tumultuous time you live in, the more uh, things you do, the more you experience, uh, the more uh, energy you take in, the longer in apparent years will be these recovery periods. Which makes sense. You got all that energy. You got to burn off. Okay. So some. So you, which when when that part of you that was alive in the 1789 period of time and participated in the French Revolution had a whole lot more shit to burn off than when you were alive in uh, 649 as a as a goat herder in Greece and you didn't do much. And then in 1789, here you were hacking off heads and boy, you had to burn off a lot of crap. Okay, and so basically, that's what that's where this this uh, period of time is between births. So the next time that this being here as a female would experience uh, uh, being born as a female might be in the because maybe this as a male this maybe this guy was a real badass as a male did lots of stuff had to burn off lots of stuff and so it might actually be that the next time that this female gets born is in the year three thousand and uh, and sixty. And it took, so she went from this life in, in the 20s, so if, if that being could retain, if this individual subset of the doer, if that one twelfth of the minor arcana could actually remember herself from life to life to life, there might easily be a thousand plus year span in there that is missing time, so to speak, that doesn't make sense to that individual because they're unaware of themselves in the larger uh, doer in the body. And I sure hope that makes sense because we've got to move on. Okay, so all of this has got to go. Uh, basically, between each life, you've got an undetermined uh, uh, period of time here that is based on how much crap you do in your life and what you what you go through. Okay, uh, and that relates to the nine, but I can't get into that now. That's, that was a whole other discussion. So.